Yo, it's your boy Dragons of Thunder, and uh, today's video, I'm gonna go down uh, into the garage and I'm gonna go to the tanks. The video will be about bearded dragon, the basic tips on health, because I see a lot of dragons that need a lot of health advice, so stay tuned. Two days later from the intro, I'm back. So uh, this video will be about bearded dragon's health. A lot of people, man, uh, I wanna start off talking about this. A lot of people will study before they get a bearded dragon, but there's a, quite a lot of people that, that don't study after they get their bearded dragon, and um, that's pretty bad. Um, you should always study. You should always find better information, more information. You should read books, um, science blogs, um, watch YouTube, uh, people who you know that has information. You should always continue to research, even after having your dragon for five or ten years. You know what I mean? Keep up with the with today's information. Um, but yeah, anyway, man, I, I wanted to say that before I before I forget it, it go out my brain. But um, because a lot goes through my brain when it comes to these bearded dragons. Um, the best way to keep your dragon healthy now. The best way to keep your bearded dragon healthy is to have a varied, uh, thought I heard Naga moving, is to um, have a varied diet. You need a varied diet, and on top of that, um, sunlight. A varied diet and sunlight. I haven't had any health issues with any of my dragons. Um, the only two that been to the veterinarian, the only two that ever been to a doctor, veterinarian, whatever you want to call it, exotic vet, is Azula and E-Ray. Um, the rest of my dragons never been to the vet. Um, and it's a reason, be, it's a reason behind it. Um, if you have a microscope at home, you can look at your own dragon's poop. Um, most of the time when you go to exotic vet, they give you an x-ray a poop test and then they guess at what the dragon has they say pinworms when it's not they say coccidia when it's not they they just they kind of guess and um to be honest i feel like um i feel like i'm advanced enough to understand and know what signs and symptoms look like of certain stuff um so you know i i go with the flow like that um but the the very diet man it can't be it can't be slept on like it's proof behind the health of all my dragons azula e-ray um fang ang naga um when you look at my diet there's dubia cricket supers mills uh hornworms uh what else black soldier fly larvae um i have all the rapashi diets um available i even have um rapashi uh vitamins and minerals that most people don't even think twice about buying for their bearded dragon um i even use uh this is something that a lot of people disagree with but it's proof in the pudding i even use um what's the crest the gecko diet um pangea I will use the breeder's mix of Pangea for my bearded dragons, like straight up. My my bearded dragons will get um, the um, Pangea breeder's diet. Like E-Ray, when he don't eat for a long time, I'll mix some up with a uh, beardy uh, buffet with some uh, water or either some Pedialyte. It just depends, and I'll give it to him, you know what I mean? Um, but a very diet with a different bug given every day and a different green and a different vegetable every day um every day that you feed now that's another thing after a certain amount of time once your dragon passes seven eight month mark you shouldn't be feeding every day anyway azula and naga i feed them three days a week um, same with E-Ray. E-Ray won't even eat sometimes nothing but one day a week or two one week and then none, no, no days the next. But, um, yeah, you have to have a varied diet. 
um, collard greens, turnip greens, um, mustard greens, um, beet leaves, like just find stuff that they can eat, man, and give them different stuff, man. And I'm telling you, um, also, I believe bioactive is a great, great, great way to keep a dragon healthy. You have to do the um, bioactive correctly, but I believe it helps boost their immune system. Just being, just being real. Like if you have a bioactive and your dragon is going outside, I guarantee that dragon has a better immune system than any other dragon that doesn't go outside or that's on um, newspaper, paper towel, carpet. Maybe not carpet. I don't know. Carpet is kind of nasty. But um, I, I do believe a bioactive enclosure helps boost the immune system of a bearded dragon because it's all kind of things going on in there. Like, like in the wild, you know what I'm saying? You got your isopods, your springtails. You got different types of... Uh, different types of substrates you can use and i believe it helps a lot with the uh, immune system so diet bioactive and making sure your dragon get outside to get some sun like that sunlight uh, some a lot of people make terrible comments to me about it they say i think that sunlight is the end all be all for bearded dragons no 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 it is not the end all be all for bearded dragons but at the same time, your dragon in the sunlight, it is going to be way healthier than a dragon that don't get sunlight. Um, the UVB bulbs, man, they great. They're fine. Even with my UVB bulbs in the spring, in the um, winter and fall, I'll run two UVBs. I have my tube UVB light, and then I'll have my, uh, you see the tube right there? And then that's the basket. And then on the other side, Let's see. And then on this side, I'll run UVB sometime. You know what I mean? But honestly, uh, the UVB is sufficient, but um, it's, way, it's ways to make it better. It's ways that you can do it that some people might not agree with, but it works. But like I say, going outside, getting real vitamin D. Think about it. The sun, everything, everything on this planet that's alive grows towards the sun. Our hair, it grows towards the sun. Trees, they grow up towards the sun. The grass, it grows up towards the sun. So if the sun is doing that, then you know it's beneficial for our dragons. Real vitamin D is uh, very important for us as humans, for our immune system and for us not to get sick. Ain't that right, mama? Ain't that right, baby? My mama. But yeah, this this basic stuff that I'm that I'm talking about, like it's really basic stuff. Um, it will have your bearded dragon healthy, like super duper healthy. Um, Fang Ang look great, Azula look great. Um, all my dragons have muscle in their thighs, like they have actual cuts, like from the muscle. You know what I'm saying? Like they have muscle in their thighs. It's not just fat. Um, oh. Matter of fact, that's a big one too. So diet, sunlight, and exercise. Enrichment. Enrichment. Like, those three things are very important to have a healthy bearded dragon. Um, Y'all know my tanks have multiple, multiple, multiple things to climb on. You know what I'm saying? They got logs and, and uh, they got logs and uh, whatever you call them things in a corner. Uh, hammock. You know what I'm saying? It's a hammock over there. It's a hammock couch on the back wall. Uh, you know what I mean? So, um, my girl, my baby girl Naga's tank, as you can see. But uh, they have stuff to climb on. And my dragons get lots of free roam time. Um, outside, inside, um, if possible, if I'm somewhere else, I'll let them free roam. But, um... They get a lot of free roam time, man. Enrichment is very important for a healthy bearded dragon. Um, overfeeding. I talked about that in, I think, the last video or the video before that. I can't remember. But overfeeding is a big issue with females. And they start they start uh, developing follicles at an early, early age that they shouldn't be um, because they're fat. And they don't. 
they don't they don't know what to do with that energy. They glass surf, they run, they try to get out, they scratch at the tank, they scratch at the ground. They need to mate. You know what I'm saying? The only reason British dragons in the wild get to a heavier weight is during breeding season. And this is all documented on Beardy Veterinarian's channel. Um, it's another guy in Australia. I can't even think of his name. He be giving out information about what's going on over there. Um, I got a boy named uh, Cam over there. I ask him questions. I got a guy from the military that I served with. I asked him questions. I got a guy who I played basketball with I, that lives in Australia, and I asked them questions about what's going on with bearded dragons over there in the wild. Um, oh, Dave Kaufman got a real good video. I think that was done two, three years ago or something about bearded dragons in the wild. Um, but yeah, the most important things for health for your dragon is enrichment, diet, and sunlight. And I'm just being real, man. Those are basics, like for real. Also, um, baths. Y'all know how I feel about baths. Um, yo, adult baby dragons, you can bathe them every day or once a week, twice a week, and stuff like that. But when your dragon is an adult, you need to stop bathing that dragon so much because uh, it's evidence, and I've I've read and I've seen stuff that says that they will not utilize those water holes. Even uh, because another reason is because at night the, in the Australia outback, the outback ain't completely desert. It's woodland, desert mix. You know what I'm saying? It's not completely desert. But in the Australia uh, outback at nighttime, the humidity rises. And uh, it's around the 60s, 70s, 50s. And so during that nighttime, it's moisture in the air. And I believe that helps your uh, dragon's lungs. It helps your dragon's uh, skin, things like that. So don't panic when you see your humidity high for a day or two. Like, it's all good, man. Nothing's gonna, nothing bad is going to happen to your dragon for having um, high humidity for a couple of hours or even a day. You know what I'm saying? High humidity doesn't doesn't really cause his uh, upper respiratory infections. It doesn't cause his respir. <laughs> it doesn't cause respiratory infections. Uh, but I think I believe dirty, stagnant air, like when the air is stagnant and sitting and it's dirty, I believe that causes uh, the the infections in the. Uh, the U URs, man. I'm going to just say that. <laughs> Upper rep. Nah, man. I, I R. I don't know. Respiratory infection. Our eyes, man. Our eyes. But, uh, yeah, I believe dirty, stagnant air is what causes uh, them to have breathing problems and things like that, man. Dirty, stagnant air. But, uh, yeah, man. I just wanted to drop this video about. Oh, also, another very important thing is the heat um you do want to have sufficient heat you know what i'm saying in the daytime during during your light period with the lights on you want your heat you want your basking spot the rock to be around 116 120 um the ambient heat the ambient heat on that hot side needs to be around i say 107 to 104 somewhere in there man it should be up there uh 99 to 108 let's say on that hot side on that cool side it should be 75 between 75 85 in that middle it should be anywhere from 94 to 89 in the middle of the tank and i do check the middle of my tanks in all of them i have middle uh temperatures temperature gauges so i like to check the middle the cool and the hot side and also i have my trusty dusty milwaukee my milwaukee uh heat gun yeah so that's another important thing is the heat so if you got all of that under control man you shouldn't have a sickly bearded dragon unless that bearded dragon came from the breeder or the pet store already sickly or already with the disease um other than that if you feeding right you're getting real sunlight what you doing girl
E Ray, you peeking? E Ray, peeking out the uh, hole. What up, E Ray? But yeah, man, if you uh, I think she's gonna try to jump in her tank. But if you uh, feeding right, right temperatures, getting outside sun, and uh, got a pretty good bioactive setup going. I think you'll have a great healthy dragon man just to be honest you don't have to do the bioactive i'm just telling you like i really truly think it boosts the dragon's immune system and i'm just being real but this is the basics of health with uh, like when you're dealing with health i believe those are the basics that you need to have a very healthy thriving dragon to not have a sickly bearded dragon so make sure you get your heat right your diet right make sure they get that sunlight that real sunlight and uh if you can go bioactive i'm just being real but yeah man uh i'm about to check out it's being real it's your boy dragons of thunder and uh like i say i don't care if you've been having your dragon for 10 years or five years you should always do some research you should always be willing to read some articles or watch some videos like i watch I think I've watched every bearded dragon video on YouTube and and I'm not exaggerating like I think I've watched every one even the playful ones and stuff like that but yeah I think I watched every uh, bearded dragon um, YouTube video and I've also I believe I've read almost every article on the web on the web um, for bearded dragons so it's no excuse you should read and you should watch and get your research on even after having your dragon for years and years and years it's nothing like information man like information is important but anyway man i hope y'all enjoyed the video be sure to stay tuned to the channel uh check out my instagram at dragons of thunder instagram is dragons of thunder um instagram Facebook group is Bearded Dragon, Bearded Dragon Events, Care and Keeping. And then uh, if you're watching this, then you know my YouTube. But read the description down below. Get your uh, get your um get your code for grubterra.com. Dragons of Thunder 10, all lowercase. It's in the description box. Go read that. And uh, until we meet again, man, I hope y'all enjoy. And uh it's your boy Dragons of Thunder. I'm out of 5,000. Me and uh, my girl. Me and my baby girl. Azula. Guanguala. Catch y'all on the next episode. Bam, 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 bam. That's that Dr. Dre. To the next episode. You love daddy? You love daddy? Huh? Where you going? I don't know where she going, man. We'll find out. I might take her in the cuddle for a little bit. Huh, Azula. What's my baby? Oh, beautiful mama. Beautiful mama. That's a good, uh. That's a good, uh. Screenshot. Holla at your boy, man. I'm out.